Welcome everybody, we are on site in San Francisco at the Founder World event. Joining me in studio today is Tony Capasso, founder of Construction Automation. Tony, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. So tell me about Construction Automation. Sure, so uh, my background is construction real estate development. And um, I've seen this common theme of there being a shortage of skilled workers. Um, obviously, as, as we all know, um, you know, real estate is super expensive and almost unaffordable. Um, so I, I aim to solve those problems, which I think are massive global issues with construction. Um, and I think the future of construction is going to heavily involve robotics. So I did a, bin, a bunch of research into thinking how I can um, totally transform the industry by kind of combining 3D printing, robotics um, into the building industry. So there's uh, a huge opportunity, but that's uh, that's my aim to solve. Sounds really cool. So is there any is it 3D printing of particular materials, or is it a different way to 3D print? Sure. So uh, initially, it's going to be a heavy focus on concrete. So it's it may be a little tough to imagine, but uh, basically, I'm combining like a concrete pump, um, which is you know the material which would get pushed through to the nozzle, uh, a robotic arm which has sensors on it, is very precise, and an uh, autonomous mobile base unit. And the three of them combined will kind of drive around construction sites and uh, and extrude the concrete and build walls with almost no labor. That's really cool. So the idea is it would it would set the foundation without having to do the forming? Well, the foundation uh, is, is pretty much flat work, so the, that would be poured conventionally just you know, using regular man hour. So this would be you know, kind of a, a hybrid version. But the vertical walls could actually be printed with no, uh, no labor at all. So it'd be a hybrid of a, a masonry wall and a concrete wall, but there's no form work required. So that's where the labor saving comes into play. That's really cool. Yeah. And so how far along are you guys? Uh, I built some little prototypes, um, kind of desktop versions of it um, with a, uh, a mechanism kind of uh, vectoring robot and, a, and an arm on top of it, and have done little, you know, little samples to kind of do a proof of concept. And now I'm raising a, a funding round, basically, to do everything at, at full scale. So that's really cool. Yeah. So prior to this, you were uh, actually in the you know, project management of, of construction. Talk to yeah. me a little bit about the transition from one to, to tech entrepreneurship. Sure. Uh, so again, my family have been, you know, they, they've immigrated from Italy and they were all mason contractors. Um, my father started his own business here and we're one of the largest um, subcontractors in Connecticut right now. We do uh, a lot of work for like Yale University and a lot of public schools. Um, so my background isn't, isn't uh, uh, technology, it's, it's actually an end user and, and seeing the problems with construction, which is, uh, I think, great for me because um, I'm an expertise in a domain and I'll really be able to get that uh, product market fit instead of building something that, you know, uh, let's say a, a user wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't want. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So. And not a technology in search of a, of a solution, right? right? <laughs> That's cool. Right. And so you've had some highlights as well. I believe you won a TV show. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, when, I, when I started with this idea, um, I, I got introduced to Tim Draper, who's a uh, venture capitalist, uh, Draper Associates, and he also started a school called Draper University. And uh, it takes early stage startups and kind of coaches them through the entrepreneurship process. Uh, at the same time, uh, it was a, um, uh, a TV show. It was called Startup You, and it was on ABC Family, and I got cast for the show. Uh, so after the, uh, after the 10 episodes, we pitch our businesses. So it's almost kind of like a hybrid of the real world mixed with Shark Tank. Um, and it was a really cool experience. So at the end of it, we pitched to a room full of venture capitalists and they all vote on the idea that they think is the most uh, forward thinking and, you know, uh, I guess the right team. And, uh, and I ended up winning some funding for, the, well, for awesome. my company. Congratulations. Yeah. So you just came off the main stage and you know, talking yeah. to thousands of people here, all uh, interested in tech entrepreneurship in some way. Yeah. Uh, what was your message? What were you talking about? Um, I think my message was to make startups great again. Uh, so I, I actually had some hats made up that say the say the say make startups great again, and it was kind of a, a play with uh, with Donald Trump to yeah. make America great again. Um, but uh, but I think that's the important thing is uh, you know you see a lot of startups that just do one thing that's a little bit a little bit better, and they're not kind of reaching far enough out there and, and um, really pushing the envelope. Um, so I think what I'm working on was was pretty flattering. Tim said to me that it might have been one of the largest markets he's ever invested in. And if if I am able to succeed, this is just such a massive disruption to literally the world's oldest industry, right? right. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, you know shoot shoot for the shoot for the stars. Real right? disruption rather than incremental difference. Exactly. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. So you know you're gonna see a lot of different technologies here. Obviously there's thousands of people here, a lot of demoing. 
Is there is there anything besides 3D printing that really gets you excited in the technology space today? Um, I think virtual reality is is pretty interesting. Um, you know, I think it has some really cool applications. Um, I've, I've used it a couple times and you know, you put it on and you, you really almost forget where you are or what you're doing. Um, and I, I also see that being integrated well with the construction industry. So, um, you know, being able to walk into a building that's, you know, uh, half of the way done and be able to see the finishes on the wall or, or something like that really helps you. Um, it's going to streamline the whole process. So, Do you have a favorite Google technology? Uh, Gmail. Gmail? <laughs> Gmail is my favorite you by use far. Use it all the time? <laughs> yeah. <Me too. laughs> uh, that's, that's by far. That's good. No, that's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, thank you. And thank you guys for joining me on site in Founder World. My name is Corey.